Treatment of invasive melanoma with micrographic surgery is still controversial. Some groups claim good success with it. Others are apprehensive to do it. And the rationale is, is because of the following. Most surgery is based in its principle on being able to histologically identify tumor roots and extensions from a source. Most cancers that we know in the human body, specifically almost all of our skin cancers, tend to grow this way. Cancer cells uh, start to develop in a specific focus. They duplicate again and again, and the cancer starts to extend and grow. The easiest way to think about this is like a root system on a tree with a mass of tumor cells right where the trunk is and extensions of tumor roots that are still connected to that trunk that extend into the skin and down into the deeper tissues like fat or maybe even as deep as muscle. Now, when micrographic surgery is used, we have the ability to cut around that entire focus that we see and identify those histological roots. Part of the reason that we can identify them this way is we're able to see the tumor cells that are connected. So as long as the tumor cells are connected like roots on a tree, we can continue to cut, identify the root, and keep tracking until we get to the end of the root. Now, invasive melanoma is different. Invasive melanoma starts to break up into small tumor islands. So it no longer has this connected or contiguous growth. It's considered a discontiguous growing cancer. The difficulty then is if you're cutting through that field, despite whatever antibody stains or unique tri tricks that you use to identify, the melanocytes, which are the key cells that are abnormal in a melanoma, you may theoretically, using micrographic surgery, cut through an open space and not know that two millimeters away or deeper in your tissue, you have additional cancer cells because there's no connection. So you would give yourself the false sense that the cancer was removed when in fact it wasn't. It's for this reason that using Mohs surgery for a melanoma is controversial. And currently, most surgeons typically adopt a wide local excision, a standard excision of that melanoma site, using margins that are dictated by international guidelines based on the depth of the melanoma that's identified on the biopsy prior to surgical treatment. This tends to optimize the cure for invasive melanoma, and that's why Mohs surgery is typically not used for this tumor type.